We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is a Falcons Friday. It's time for the Ryan Report brought to you by... McDonald's. Try two Southern style chicken. Look, I was going to say chicken biscuits. I'm so caught up in McDonald's. <laughs> Doing my own thing. I know. You it's made brought to you style. by McDonald's. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> two sausage McMuffin eggs or a sausage McMuffin with egg and a medium drink for only $3 of your choice at participating in McDonald's. All right. We all know that Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher got into it. Yes. Right? Yes. Now, you know, Wendy Williams said the reason Derek Fisher was not at practice was because Matt Barnes had lumped him up. But now we're finding out more about what happened. And and for any dad out there, whether you're divorced or not, if you had this happen, Mm -hmm. then it might make you drive over to somebody's house. In an exclusive interview with ESPN, Uh uh, Matt Barnes said, this is why I drove over there. He says... His, t- his son called him. His son's Carter. Mm-hmm. Carter calls him at 10 o'clock at night. He's like, why are you still up? It's 10 o'clock at night. Wow. So he texts back, I love you and I miss you too. Mm-hmm. So then he FaceTimes Carter. Okay. He's like, hey, what's up, buddy? Right. Now, Carter, he said, is the, <laughs> the one who jump around and yes. always crunk. Yes. He said when he FaceTimed Carter, Carter was like, Laying in the bed, right? He said, hey, what's going on, buddy? Why why are you looking like that on FaceTime? And he said Carter put a pillow up to his face. It was like, mommy's friend Derek is here. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, who? Mommy's friend Mr. Derek is over here. Wow. (laughs) So he said, this is FaceTime. He said, I could see by the look on his face that he was uncomfortable. Wow. So he said, first of all, he didn't drive 100 miles. He only lives 15 minutes away. Okay. He says a total lie saying that people said that he was listening to Tupac on his way to the house. He says, I can't believe people think I was some maniac driving 95 miles and listening to Tupac to beat somebody up. Uh-uh. I live 15 minutes away and I was going over to check on my kids because they seemed uncomfortable. Right. That was my main reason for going over there. Now the NBA is looking at it. But what would you do? I mean, why would you have him in that man's house? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that she was wrong for that. For bringing them around the kids so yes. early? Yes. That's true. I'm, I'm not in agreement to that. I don't I don't think that that was cool at all. I mean, it's too early. And then you got, that's still his house, right? Yeah. That's a, that was the family's house. That's right. what his man yeah, that's laid rough. his head. So I think that was real tacky and disrespectful. Okay, let's move on to uh, the next okay. story. Ashanti Stalker. Mm-hmm. They cannot convict this guy. Even if he testifies and cross-examines Ashanti, they have declared this a uh, a mistrial. Mm. Manhattan judge forced to declare a mistrial for the second time yesterday when a jury deadlocked on the top count against DeVar Hurd, who, of course, represented himself in court again. Wow. After two days, the jury could not reach a unanimous decision on whether or not he was guilty of felony stalking. Now, this is the same man who was accused of sending her Hundreds right. of sexually explicit text messages mm. and tweets to not only her, but also to her mama. Mm. So now they may have to do another trial and bring Ashanti back to the courtroom again. Oh, boy. This is unbelievable. And it's got to be very hard for her. It is. Yes. You know somebody's crazy. Exactly. You're, and they, they cross-examining you. On trial. That's crazy. You're representing yourself. You remember me? Right. Yes, I remember you, fool. I can't believe they're allowing this to go on. This is crazy to me. But they're saying they're having a hard time proving the case. Like, (gasps) this guy is so good at his stalking, other than the tweets. Mm. Like, they're saying that a tweet does not mean somebody's stalking you. Sending you a sexually explicit picture does not mean that they're stalking you. Mm. They're trying to convict him of felony stalking in New York. All right? Okay. All right. It's a Falcons Friday. We got a whole bunch of Falcons fans in the building. Station is V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know, you know.